Hello traders, welcome to episode 318 of TFB Mitch Ray. You could be doing anything, but you're here, and for that I'm quite grateful. Oh my god. Sorry. We are enjoying the week. It's what, Tuesday night now? If there's that mosquito buzz, let me know. I'll turn these on. Someone said they didn't hear the, the high frequency pitch of these sunglasses, or whatever they are. Uh, when it was beeping or when it was blinking, so uh, let me know and I will make accommodations to your specificity. Okay, man. Uh, Bitcoin, you know, hey, hit the target. Like we saw in the day stream, 3342. And we have uh, since bounced. Uh, we're up a decent amount. I don't know, 0.57% today in the green of $19.30. Who cares? Right, uh, but uh, what we, you know, this is a pretty uh, monumental uh, support we've hit. Wow, that's loud. Sorry. C80s, man. Okay, it's supposed to be loud and scary. Okay, so uh, nothing really substantial has occurred from the bounce uh, off the 1414 for the extension was uh, Patreons. Me, everyone, you know, you've been talking about waiting patiently to hit that we finally have but uh i don't know if it'll manifest into our targets but uh hey we're just going by the book here we're going by the book we're from x to a up here we found ourselves a 78 percent retrace okay and that's a good entry one four one four so anyway man you wait for entry you take your position you wait some more that's swing trading welcome to it so uh bitcoin now currently at 34.25 that's awesome and climbing a little bit as we watch the stream for our candle started about uh, you know 15 minutes ago something like that so all right finally starting to make uh, for the first time I think some positive momentum yep first little histogram wick great let's say we were over sold uh, got as low as 23 on the RSI but now we're currently sitting at uh, 40 all right so just in that bearish neutral territory okay no volume right now Okay, just uh, between the 1414 and the 1272. Trying to break the 1272, 34,810, but uh, not really doing anything with it. We're just now wicking back, you know. So, anyway, great man. If you really want to be kings, there's a downsliding resistance here. Uh, by the time we got there, it'd probably be like if we did, you know, 3460 area, you'd have to break that. And if you did break it, you could see a nice move up, and uh, we will fib accordingly. All right. Once we establish that this is the for real swing low, we will we would then fib from C uh, to our D, and then that would give us our three eight three eight two six one eight one two seven two whatever right. But uh, for now we're just hanging tight, um, hoping the TA respects itself right. That's it. Respect the TA man. Hope the chart does. Anyway, whatever dude. Um, Dude, Joe, what's up, Zed Zerbs? MK, dude. How you doing, man? MK, man, and me, we discovered a crazy bearish cipher pattern today on GameStop before it dumped. How about that? What kind of foreshadowing is that, dude, right? Dang, we'd have just looked at it a few days prior, right? Just like Tron Connect with that bearish bat pattern. Damn. All right. JD says, that guy said we hit the bottom. Watch out, people. Oh, God. Now I'm a little nervous, okay? But my Gartley. What's up, uh, Coach K? Yeah, dude. I'll do it, dude. I'll do it. What's up, Moz? Ricky W. Coffee for crypto. Erwin coffee for crypto. Erwin T and coffee for crypto. Some more black tea tonight. Whatever, dude. I'm just, uh, I'm wilding on tea, man. It's just a phase, dude. Chris, man, it's just a phase. I don't know. You tell me, dude. I've been uh, drink coffee for like a year. Like multiple cups a day. Tea is a good little vacation. I'm taking a coffee vacation on and off. Even though I still drink coffee every day, you know, drink one less cup of coffee, one more cup of tea. So, uh, whatever, man. So about Randy Schulz? Okay, wants a Gollum coin. All right, dude, we'll look at Gollum coin. So Milko 007. 
Milko said, hey Mitch, I may have an old Pentium chip you could borrow if your Threadripper starts, uh, I'm sure you're, you're about to say crapping. Yep. Yeah, no, man, it's being, uh, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde right now, it's, uh, it's okay. It's not too bad right now. Turned off my Logitech drivers, just turned off my IQ, uh, app for my PC, so. What's up, P. Miller, dude? What's up, dude? From Depot? Yeah, man. On the list, dude. All right, Milko, yeah, we'll look at it for sure. What's up, uh, Crypto Cracker? It's Crackalackin, MF. Uh, hey, Probes, man. Probes, what's up, dude? Probes, you like the glasses, man? Breakdance Battle, quick this thing. Who, uh, who won? Well, I thought Cardboard was the, uh, you know, the prize. <clears throat> You're going back to the 80s, Ed Zersman? All right, I'll see you there. Hey, B. Washington, what's up, dude? How you been, man? Ordering your DeLorean? All right, Crypto Stang, what's up, dude? About to pop and lock up in this mofo. All right, dude, be careful. Hey, 1G Project, what's up, dude? Yeah, Probe saying Apple's up 5.5%. Uh, yeah, we were going to brush up on that. Uh, 163.50 after market. Shorts are scrambling to cover. Should be a nice gap up. Condolences to anyone short, yeah, dude, for sure. Well, I mean, that's it, yeah, definitely, man. Who who wants to have just a, you can help it, you know, options are one thing, but uh, just having an open short position, um, going into an earnings play is literally gambling. You're literally like, huh, I'm a fool of a coin, dude, when you could go to the casino and do the same thing, right? I mean, the earnings weren't even that great. They really weren't that spectacular. But yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it in a second, proves, man. No buzz when it's blinking, Rick Schmitz, man. Awesome, dude. So Chuck G. Billy Jean is not my lover. What? Billy Jean. She's just a beanie baby. I don't even know Crypto Stain. That's too much for me, man. Boss oh, watching men in my garage. That's the uh that's the first one we've seen. The 80s variation. Instead of one cup of coffee, how about two D cups of TT coin? No coppers. Mr. T's T. Thanks, Lars is watching, man. Dude, sometimes I have to just go back and check out and see what the message said. Because sometimes it does go over my head. I don't know, man. I feel a little goofy sometimes. Uh, not including this weird bandana, popped collar, and sunglasses or something, man. Lars, yeah, dude, but Lars, you're right. Lars is watching because, uh, dude, I can't play, like, any good 80s music. I can't, dude, because they're all, like, bought and owned and owned, you know, the royalties, all that stuff, man. There's nothing I can do about it. I can't play, like, I can't even play, like, probably never gonna give you up whatever that song is you've been rickrolled can you play that man probably we should gamble one night hoorah you know and just uh i mean all these streams are backed up on twitch right so whatever bitcoin phone home crypto staying nice uh nice pop culture reference man i'm giving somebody a seizure man yes bradford was saying i need to put in my disclaimer or maybe that was jeff i can't remember Billy Man. MK is taking a small position in GameStop. Very short. All right. Lars, there he is, man. Axel Rose, is that you? Axel Rose. Good thing you're in here. This guy respects the TA but doesn't respect the copyright. You should check into our Titty Coin Investments. Dude, Lars is into Titty Coin. All right, let's check it out real quick. Only way I can check it out, all right? You understand? You understand that. It's so funny that there's an actual tit coin and then a titty coin with the same tickers. Oh man, titty coin's down 32.91%. Dude, wasn't it just down like 35% like yesterday or the day before? This thing's lost like 70 plus percent of its value in like three days. Large man, probes man. Oh, sorry. My bad. 
titty coin is down, man. Remember we uh, we reduced from A cup, no, from D cup to A cup. Soon we might be going to uh, training bra or something on titty coin. I know it's gross, man. It's kind of inappropriate to talk about, but it's literally called titty coin. Uh, there's no way I can even get around that. It's not even appropriate to talk about the entity, the proper noun that we're looking at, okay? So uh, we are screwed. Sorry, titty coin. So Jeremy S. Matt Inman. Hello, man. Rami. Diversify with tea. No cava. Exactly, dude. And, and it's black tea, man. It's like I think that's like the perfect rival to the coffee, man. But the beauty of like the your product is like you can you can drink it black either way, right? Coffee. The tea actually doesn't taste as good with the creamer in it. But uh, whatever. What does it take? L. Theanine with coffee makes the experience so much better and clearer. No jitters or anxious feeling. Hmm, interesting. But isn't that what we're going for when we drink our coffee, Pimo Man? Are we here to get jacked up, man? What's up, uh, JF Airplane? Thanks, dude. Hello, uh, Evan P. Mr. Panthers. Hey, Julia. Julia. It's bodacious. It's tubular. Uh, remember, we talked about yesterday, if your VC or your VHS and your VCR gets messed up, just use, take it out and adjust the two little cogwheels, you know, in the bottom. All right, that's it. <sighs> King Logan, is he here? What? Yeah, he is here, dude. What's up, King Logan, man? Joshua Ramsey, where are we going here, Mitch? I have a super large position open on Ethereum from 103.70. Well, I mean, like, uh, this is nice, man. See, this is this is why the Threadripper counts and matters. This is why SLI GPUs matter. So I can just, in the click of a button, I don't have to change here, right? I can just be like, bam, and then Ethereum pops up, all right? So uh, you have a position open on Ethereum. I mean, it does look like bear, bear pole bear flag, doesn't it, of some sort? But you are at a, that critical support level, that 1618 FIP extension. And uh, what we talk about all the time before we even analyze Ethereum or any other altcoin is we look at Bitcoin. And, and dude, to me, I mean, Bitcoin, though it could sell off more, sure. Um, you would expect uh, with a highly reliable pattern like the Gartley to play out and we could make higher prices, which could be okay for Ethereum because, you know, anything Bitcoin does, Ethereum is going to follow. So. Uh, yeah, man, I get it. There's just. Hold on, let me move this. I do this earlier. I didn't have I didn't have enough static on my. I didn't have enough VHS static, so I created two VHS statics. This probably was giving me the lag, man. Right. Uh, but anyway, yeah, man, add support. Uh, but you know, no divergence really. I mean, um, from this low to this low. Let's see, what we got. Okay. <laughs> All right. Slight, right? Ever so slight. From a swing low to a swing low. All right. That is slightly upsloping. So from this low to this low, we actually do have some RSI bullish divergence, but we can't really say the same about um, the MACD. RSI is very clear. MACD uh, all over the place because this was like, you know, very, very low amount of negative momentum. I think we discussed that before. But uh, anyway, man. Uh, you got a small shot here. I mean, dude, stop. Anything below, dude, anything below 101, 24, don't, you don't want to be playing ball, okay? That's just probably unwise, dude. I mean, you have very little support left, okay? Get that wick there. There's a candle close right at uh, 99, 22, but dude, no. You know. So, but we've been selling off, dude. We've been selling off since January 5th now. We're getting close to a month now of selling for a lot, okay? So. Anyway, there you go, dude, uh, Joshua. Okay. You know, I hear 1G Project, uh, if you're out there, man, I think you are. I know you are, actually. They were saying, uh, well, it's just reading something, a source saying that uh, for some people where you live, just up north because of the polar vortex, uh, within five minutes, people can get frostbite. So be very careful if you're way up there in the north, okay? I mean, even people in the United States.
can be affected by that. It's like you know, people in Michigan, uh, whatever. I think Ohio and north of that. It's really, really cold, dangerous weather. So, but Crypto Hippie, 333. Yeah, I know I better play it straight. Billy Man Lars is here. Please don't get a seizure from those crazy frames, man. No, you don't get a seizure, dude. I'll be okay, man. You don't get one, all right? Titty coin is not even one one hundredth of a cent. Sounds promising, dude. But hey, what does that mean? I can get a billion of them, dude. Uh, Goofy's definitely a dog, Crypto Stang. Goofy's definitely a dog. Yeah. Eat your shorts, Jeff Man. Um, spoon your gag or gag your spoon or something like that. That's another one of those sayings, isn't it? So, Bo Sullivan, dude. I'm just getting through chat, alright, man. You analyze Bitcoin, corn, whatever. What will be the price of Bitcoin after a week, man? Speculative. Uh, here, you know what? I'll. I'll let my secretary answer that for you. Um, I, I don't know, sir. But all I can tell you is a bullish garlic pattern has hit a pretty nice entry, uh, relatively lower risk entry. So uh, we're hoping that we'll be at higher prices. We would expect if the TA was, the trade didn't fail, we would be at higher prices. Okay, Mr. Matani. All right. Hey, Blue Patient, BG. Sorry, y'all. Decent amount of chat. All right, I'm just uh, trying to get through it. Uh, Dana Melissa says, drink one for me. Heading to work. Or no, yeah, heading to work. Warming vehicle. Tempest minus. See, dude, oh, even in Iowa, dude, like, ridiculous, man. Minus 16. And I feel, I feel bad about What's my temp right now? Lagging. Story mile. Oh, it's 26. Pretty cold. Pretty cold, but that's like nothing, dude. That's like. Good God, man. PJ says the best part is that we are closer to the bottom than the top accumulation time. Well, I mean, you know, clearly that's a, the testament of a, a Gartley, right? Testament of Gartley after, you know, selling. You know, we've been selling off since November 14th. Pretty incessantly. Yeah, we've had nice little pops. Nice pops. We've had bullish divergence. We had the double bottom and the bullish divergence on the second bottom. Okay, nice rallies. Um, and now we're making, you know, we're making lower lows in the short term, but still way off this uh, December fifteenth low. Okay, which is good. So, uh, look, man, at some point we're gonna need to test this uh, trend line again, this down sloping trend line, this resistance. So, at a seventy eight point six percent retrace, pretty deep retrace. From X day, all right. So, okay, hold on. What the heck? Dang it, dude. Let's go Ripple now since we already looked at uh, theory. Alright man, it seems like we're still back testing. Let's get back in there. Let's try to get back inside the uh, pattern that's bearish. Bearish continuation. We're, man, we're so close dude. It's just having trouble man finding demand there's just not any really right now uh still bouncing up horizontal line support but dude we looked in log scale at xrp on bitstamp earlier man and it's just like you better be freaking careful this support is very very important just because though you have some supports uh that are horizontal um not many and uh, once those get broken dude you can go all the way down to I think it was like seven cents or something like that. Really stupid. There's just nothing there. It's just twig and thatch looking left, man. Uh, I guess we can just look at it real quick if you want to. Just for people that missed it in the day stream. Because I thought it was pretty uh, 
interesting at least. Let's go to the daily and let's go to log scale. I only get saved as another one. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Had to like hard reset my PC like five times. Okay, man. So, you see this like support here that's just been cracked, man. There's like, I know it's log scale. Okay, percentage change. That's pretty uh, staggering right there. So, uh, man, like with these horizontal line sports that I'm talking about, you're on one, you're bouncing off one, but you got one more after that. And that's already at 25 cents. At this point, man, you lose a cent, man. You're losing a lot of value. So, um, dude, you just got, like, after that, you just got minor supports, like 20 cents, 1918 cents 14 cents and then really weak one at 13 cents but after like 13 cents man dude you're like you're screwed man you're pretty screwed okay so you got a little bit of chop looking left that's it though all right so uh just be careful you're on ripple man how nuts would it be you know to see us fall down to 15 cents and then break 15 cents and then fall to six cents, dude. <laughs> all right, uh, you all you got going for you is this over here. You're at your final, like you've cracked the top part. This was back in May of 2017. Now you're at that second line of defense from August 17, 2017, to October 2017. That's it, man. <sighs> but uh, decent support zones, I guess. It's a good battleground area, okay? Because we've held support there like three times now we're hopefully going on four maybe we can just bounce and get back above this trend line okay that's it dude but just uh hard to be optimistic sometimes in situations like this right whatever Dude, I can definitely hear the mosquito. Can y'all not hear the mosquito? Maybe not because of the audio. Okay, here's your here's your old Neo, man. All right, let's go to it. All right, dude. So just uh, look, man. You got like really one one and two touch points. And three here. I mean, yeah, you could include that, man. But um, I just went from the, the low here in April to the high in May. And uh, we finally broke it. But we haven't really done anything with it at all. Okay. And I really chose those anchor points because uh, I like the a little bit of the touches we're getting on the heart line. Okay. Better than I did any, any other touch points. All right. So, anyway, just going sideways. Not really doing anything. I mean, dude. Yeah, it's good though, man. Look, uh, the higher lows we're holding up for now. Uh, you could try to look, wait for a double bottom, 520. I don't know if we'll get there, but I need an alert set up on that. Someone's like, is that never said shoulders? Like, well, you might have had a chance, but no. Uh, it seems like Litecoin in a way, right? Where you had the pretty nice little neckline here. Right? And then just uh, you dumped and then ran up, rallied, false breakout, and then dumped again. So. Um, Pattern wise, I don't really see any kind of version, any kind of you no know, harmonic or anything. Um, you're just kind of trying to hold on to some support. All right, you got some here, uh, here, and here. That's it. That's just your going kind of sideways. This could be played as like, uh, well, man, if Bitcoin wants to pump the upside because the garlic or whatever, hey, well, uh, Neo might be a pretty decent, uh, just little range bound trade setup, right? Huh. And you know, again, like how many times we look at it like this and we see it. I mean, look, you have just a very ever so slight amount of RSI bullish divergence, right? Kind of like, a, what was it, Ethereum? Not on the RSI, not on the MACD. All right, so uh, easy, easy enough way to play this, right? Whatever you could take your entry there or here, whatever. 
Hey, yeah, thanks for the sub. I forgot to change that. My bad, dude. Okay. Pretty simple. Alright, so you could either you could layer in to both these positions, keep your stop, stop the same, but have two entries, right? Uh, one at like uh, 687 and then uh, 666? What? Inverse uh, Jesus entry, alright? But uh, I don't know, I don't really know if you want to be playing with Neo if it cracks $6.66, alright? That's it now. Now, I mean, like, you know, for profit taking, I don't know, look, I see the candle body high close here, and uh, there's also, there's like areas that you could make it to where you have like a first position of profit taking and second, third, whatever, all right, just because you got the candle closes. I mean, look right here too, and you got another area of strong resistance, up to like 769. So, uh, but you know, just being range bound, you know, you take your shot, and uh, you, you wait for the targets to, to get hit, the real resistance points, not the minor ones. Okay, so a uh, decent area, maybe at uh, $8.07, maybe $8.68. Okay, yeah, just a little, try to play a little range bound uh, entry, range bound uh, swing trade. That's it, man. And I know there's, this is up here, but uh, what, we have more touch points uh, in this little resistance zone than we do this one crazy run up, okay? So I don't really care about that one as much as I would care about, you know, the 860s, whatever. Okay, that's it, man. That's it. Here's your Neo, dude. Okay. Whew. If you're enjoying this live stream, hit that like button, that bell, that sub. It's bodacious, man. It's calabungas. It's uh, tubular. It's uh, radical. It's gnarly. It's nectar. I think nectar is 90s. All right, so uh, I think uh, Arkhead wanted some Gollum. Gollum, Gollum, my precious. All right, why does he want to see some Gollum? Well, my Arkhead's always asking because he's got an inkling of something good maybe is happening. Well, why's that off, man? What in the world happened? We've been messing with this chart, man. All right, I'm trying to make this pinball one accurate. I'm trying to like. It lines up perfectly. It's really tough when I got a blinking sunglasses. I love it. Okay, you got one and two on the top and one and two on the bottom. Boom. That easy. So, uh, I don't know, man. We sold off. We've broken and breached uh, critical supports. It seems like we were holding around 1698. Uh, currently sitting at 1649. That's not good, man. All right. Guess we can try to help ourselves out. Load high, uh, looks at the 1272 is at 1560, 1414 is at 1405, and the 161 is at 1182. Alright, so, okay man, nice little stupid wick. That's awesome man, very cool. But you, as you can see, uh, heartline resistance, 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 some support, um, and then a ton more resistance, right? We just couldn't break it, couldn't break it, and then just sold off. Alright, so, um, okay, you're asking just like low, lower low, now even lower low with higher levels of relative strength every time. Not bad, but uh, something that is kind of an issue is that we don't know when the selling, we don't know this is the swing low yet, right? We just have no idea. All right. So whenever it decides it's finished uh, selling off, forms that swing low, okay, maybe we'll see what happens at the 15 to 16 mark. But, uh, I don't know why we wouldn't go there, dude. There's just no support where we are. We're just sitting in outer space, okay. And then, yeah, yeah, a little bit more bullish divergence, too, on the MACD. And again, we can't really do anything with this, these histogram waves because we don't have a swing low established. We don't, we don't know. So that's it for now. I don't know, dude. That's, uh, that's all I'm taking from this. Okay. Pretty low volume on the sell off, too. Breaking critical support with no volume. That's good. Alright. 
Anyway, I think I kind of went off on a tangent with PJ. PJ uh, Tibbet, man. Well, the, well, the show just kind of went nuts. Like, I kind of just, like, went off into the TA world because of PJ, man. Curtis Dang, you're an 80s boat bot, apparently. There you go, man. We need one of those. I wonder if they have them. Kang Logan is out spray painting certain letters carrying vehicles. Steve Irwin is meeting his first croc. Oh my god, man. Hopefully we get saved by the bell. Dude, that, uh, Curtis Dang, that's like a come full circle meme now, man. That's a very, very good meme. I sometimes use that meme. So, uh, what was old has become new again. Two to five minute frostbite. Frostbite there today, Randy Schultz. Where are you at, man? That sounds uh, super scary. Okay. Do the glasses bother me? Not really. Not really. Just for getting pinpoint accurate touch points on my trend lines. That's about it. Okay. Hands froze. No more typing. Dim man. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. So Peter Piper, minus seventeen degrees. That's ridiculous. Dim man. The grand solar minimum. New ice age is upon us. Winter is coming. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, oh my god, man. I saw a meme today. It was hilarious. It was Al Gore being like, We only have 10 more years to save this planet. That was 10 years ago. And then now, and then like there's like a picture of that, and there's another picture, and it's the same picture of him doing the exact same thing. We only have 10 more years to save the planet, man. Right? We got it, man. Got it. Climates. It's real. Climate change is real, but it's been going on long before humans. Good. Okay. Now, I think that humans are acting as an accelerant to, you know, stuff going on, but, uh, you know, CO2 emissions and all that, but this climate is uh, way bigger than us. <sighs> hmm. That's weird, uh, Curtis Dang, man. The 60s were very interesting. It was back in my days, or my dad's heyday, or whatever. When I go out in in these shades, do I see subliminal message on all the billboards and stuff like a like obey, watch TV, that sort of thing? Uh, no, I turn. I don't watch cable anymore, Julia. So uh, I can't have that uh, type of subliminal brainwashing go on, right? these glasses driving me mad can you actually see the charts better Pedro yes exactly this gives me a uh, 4d vision seeing charts oh, my bad. gosh dang it man I, can't, I gotta do something about this mic its positioning is so bad incoming moon eye gamer we'll see man What's up, nut? How you doing, nut man? You got plaid? No, there's no plaid on me today, man. Neo started in 1982. Keanu Reeves, dude. What's up, Ryan McCatherine, dude? The market cap keeps going down. Bitcoin dominance is inching up. And the bots are the only traders. Bitcoin will go down further, barring some typical crypto crazy buy man I get it man you know I understand I look man my last hope my uh the Gartley man again that is uh Gandalf is the Gartley we are all in Helm's Deep right now and the orcs are they've already infiltrated the fortress okay so you just gotta have faith in the Gartley okay the 1414 fib extension the 786 retrace okay come on dude some faith. 
Binance is totally different. This is Binance, dude. This is totally uh, GNT to Binance, man. Oh, it's totally different. Which one are you looking at, uh, oh, kid, man? Or oh, looking at the, but the hourly, meh, right? Daily looks bad, right? It's okay, I guess. All right, 60 minute, yep. Okay, that's what you're saying. I don't know, man. Potential, yeah, maybe. Well, let's break to the upside here. Yeah, neckline, left shoulder head, potential right shoulder. You'd want to wait, though. You want to wait till like 1631 would be that entry for the right shoulder if we were to get it, right? But I don't know, man. I, I feel like that bullish divergence has already played out, which was the impulse up, and I don't really know after that. But yeah, yeah, we'll see how uh, 1631 uh, entry happens, right, if it holds up. Just a small pattern, dude. Very, very, very small pattern. But yeah. But simply... Dude, I'm not really digging this music now, I'm sorry. Something about to happen, dude. Alright, so, eh, maybe. We'll see, dude. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, there's just triple MACD bullish divergence. He even made a lower low with no negative momentum on the last one. And uh, RSI, quadruple RSI bullish divergence. Pretty sweet, man. Pretty sweet. But that's cool, dude. That's cool on uh, Jimmy, man. Ohio State, the Home Depot. Insanity, isn't it? Complete and utter insanity. Let's go to the weekly, man. Let's talk about an insane uh, form of consolidation, right? Hey, look what happens when we break down something trend lines. Oh my god, man. November 2010, the false breakout, whatever, then uh, premature breakout, we call that, broke down, ran back up, and then back tested, and then see uh, after the back test, so important that back test. Anyway. Yeah, this is probably better on long scale. I guess we can try to chart this. Dude, this is insane history right here, okay. Hmm. We plot this anchor point one and two, and then three up here. You get respect here, some respect here on the heart line, 25 heart line, and yeah, some support on the heart line for a moment, you break down, and then look where we are. We're just continuously back test. We're just trying to break this 
25% uh, trend line of the huge historical egg listening channel. Okay. Wow. Something else, man. Something else. A very, very long term historical uptrend been going on. Jeez, dude. Early 80s. Okay, man. It's a 80s style. We got this, baby. But for now, all right, I think we have an uptrend that, uh, let's just make that, let's make this visible only on the weekly. So let's go to daily now. So you now know how overwhelmingly bullish we are, the history of this uh, asset. sense man so like stemming back to February 2009 August 2011 geez even like uh, September 2008 April 2013 March 2015 dude January 2018 like so many freaking touch points good god all right so we've uh, fallen below the hard line it seems and uh, you can see a huge impulse down. Look, uh, double top, right? Nice, nice double top. And we've seen that across uh, the market, right? Stock market, a lot of double tops. And um, neckline was here. Oh no, this music is gonna have to go bye bye. Dude, too fast, man. So good news is that it uh, held support from April April 3rd of 2018. Dude, this is a, a trip, man. This Home Depot is a trip, dude. Um, I mean, clearly, you'd broken out. I mean. Can you say it's a wedge? Oh wow. Yeah, dude, look at that. Go a point. Loves it investors. Loves fib lines and divergence too. But it's free. Duh. Done. Done. Free falling. RIP titty coin. Oh my god, dude. Swing low, sweet tri chariots, right? Is that what we say uh, in the stream labs? Our stream albums is all messed up. I don't know what to do. Loading activities. Yeah, but uh, all right. Why did that not show up? Just did you see that? It didn't show up. I didn't see the uh, the message in writing. Oh my god! It sounds so much better when I read it. It's so much better than the TTS uh, girl doing it. Okay, man. So that's wonderful, man. Thanks for the twenty five, Mister S Coin Petty, man. Wonderful, dude. You'll go on to do great things with Lars. You'll do a, a duet at some point, all right? Thanks, brother, man. Seriously. It means a lot. It's all right. Now I'm like all off here. The thing is, the daily time scale, so there's multiple discernible swing highs. I mean, we're 886 right here. You know you're in 886 here. Uh, let's just go from the major one. Major high to low. 382. So you could continue running on up. You very well could, but you can see the heart line right here is being used as resistance as well as the 382 uh, Fib node. Uh, high 
slightly higher high with very low levels of positive momentum this time around, and you're making uh, lower levels of relative strength, believe it or not. So um, you can see we did you know, sell off and pivoted, and now we're running again. Uh, volume, very bad. But hey, we know from a major high to low, 382 is that first common retrace, right? So uh, this could be, keep your eye on it, um, or we could reverse our price action to the downside. Okay. But nice as a little wedge, man. It looks like P. Miller, man. And I think it was someone else wanted it too. But uh, you can see some nice little price contraction. It's busting out of it for now. All right. Unlike the, uh, you know, what the Q's, Q's still within the parameters of that uh, descending broadening wedge. I think even a few more, man. A few more. Where's the king of S coins? I don't know. Who's the. Does Phil Centure the king of S coins? <laughs> what do I think of uh, hot Holochan? It's just hot right now. I mean, it's just uptrending, it's uh, gone parabolic, and it's going to dump just as hard as it pumped, all right, at some point. Once the small amount of people that are in on that, you know, they're running it up, the, the eventually they'll. They'll let go and they'll pull the rug and then it'll just be lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. William Battles has returned, man. Excellent, dude. You is or you be? I don't know, Billy, man. You take a pick, man. Hey, you are a break the triangle. Uh, that's good, man. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, man. Found a list. Well, the list is whatever now. <laughs> we're, we're through the list. We did it, man. Uranium. I don't know though, man. Look, we've broken it like every time. Okay, daily time scale. Well, I think we've been looking at the weekly. What's going on right now? Oh my God! No wonder it's off because of log scale. Good God! There we go. Uh, yeah, barely broke it, didn't we? No volume on the break either. I get you, man. And remember, so we broke the down sloping resistance, right? but on no volume and we are not above the 200 day moving average at all right so uh, yeah definitely something to keep your eye on building positive momentum i know it's lower right now than before but uh, we could continue building positive momentum and uh, making higher prices and eventually invalidate the divergence uh, nice bullish convergence on the rsi uh but look man from this low to this low this critical freaking support man super critical tubular Critical support, right? That's one thing. Another thing, bullish divergence on the MACD. Another thing, bullish divergence on the RSI. That's a, uh, sorry man, that's three coinciding variables right, right there. All right, so that could help. It'd give you reason to believe that we would break the episode. Boom, did it. All right, so uh, when we sold off a little bit, we bounced off the 20 day moving average, 50 day moving average, and then we just uh, ran again. And yet we're outside of this uh, channel channel triangle whatever it's both okay it can literally be both all right we'll see man we'll see if uh what happens i don't know if i do a measured move here man that's that's crazy dude that's really really crazy see the problem with this is you have so many discernible swing highs okay i mean your most previous discernible swing highs back uh, november 2018 right here the high so if you fib there, you're at a 78.6% retrace, which is really not that special. It's a deep retrace. 
Yep, you're about to hit that uh, 786, right? 1284 is the 786 from the high to low. Your most previous one, okay. But uh, the, the most major swing high. The next most previous, I mean, you've got two of them, right? I guess we could try to find confluence. I'm sure you're going to find some right around the 786, right? Nope, the confluence zone is around $13. 1307 to 1311. Okay, up here is the confluence zone. And right after that, that 100% retrace is the 886 for the next one. Okay, so confluence areas up here, and then the one after that, way up here. 1414. 1272. So uh, maybe we can break the 200 day moving average. A pretty easy jump to 13. 12. Okay, something like that. Uranium breakout. Breakout, dude. Keep your eye on uranium, okay, everyone. I have an alert set up. Oh, crazy, my alert didn't go off. It wicked up there, but just didn't trigger the alert. <sighs> Mr. Booner, there you go, dude. Rip man bear pig, yeah, dude. I know, man. Seriously. Everything is always changing. Oh, uh, there's a song. Hold on, what's. Ew, we can play that song if. Uh, we can definitely play that if it's in the 80s. It's probably in the 90s, though, which sucks. Um, I'd be disappointed. I think it was the 90s. Dang it, dude, 1996. Uh, see, I'm a 90s kid, so, like, it's tough, man. It's tough. Maybe we'll do a 90s-themed show. It's not going to be as iconic, you know. It's going to be tougher. I just need to get really, really bright plaid sweaters. Wear that. Okay. What? You just read a National Weather Service notice about Grand Forks, North Dakota, minus 75 degrees Fahrenheit. How is that even real, dude? Coldest recorded temperature ever in the lower 48 states, William Battles. Do y'all hear that? That is ridiculous. So it, it almost like got kind of close to doubling the coldest recorded temperature. Dude, days are tomorrow, man. North Dakota screwed. At least, hey, as long as Montana's okay, right? Yep, I keep seeing five eight nine in my eyes, Billy man. Oh my god, man. Rick Schmidt, is that true? I'm super scared. What's up, Melissa? Welcome. Tell Dan to bundle the heck up, alright. Climate always changes, otherwise every day would be the same. No, I'm King Logan. No, aw, oh, dude. What's really, I mean, what the daily weather is just, it's the weather. The climate's just really multiple seasons, right? Multiple years and multiple seasons. It's literally 100 degrees difference between where you are, William, and where North Dakota is. It's ridiculous. But Milka, have you not heard about Man Bear Pig, man? Come on, dude. Dude, some good uh, climate talk, man. Holy crap. You feel like the pop collar was in the 2000s, Peter Piper, man? Sorry, dude. This was definitely 80s. 80s all the way, man. But you like the look, man? Thanks, dude. I just wear this forever. I'm going to be stuck in the 80s. Oh, it has been doing things. Sorry, I'm just getting through chat, man. Well, we look at charts. Uh, clearly, all are content. I mean, you can go back to Bitcoin. Uh, you know, it's appropriate, right? Look on the it's whatever. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Uranium. Finally broke it down. Slipping resistance. Everyone keep your eyes on it. Let's do it together. Let's be kings and queens. Okay, so literally one hour later into the stream, nothing's happened. Uh, price is about the same, 34.20. Is that a joint? All right. Wake up. If you weren't awake, that did probably wake you up. Oh, Miss Cantomo's here now, man. Oh, my God. Do I have my pants tucked into my socks, Julia? Pfft. I'm not even wearing pants or socks cab up if we're repeating the 80s right now does that mean the next decade we'll have a lot of economic prosperity like the 90s uh, I don't know man we're approaching the end of a 10 year long market cycle but and you know what normally those crashes big one the big crashes and stuff only lasts a couple of years so it probably historically yeah maybe stock market will probably be going up but uh, we're just looking for that couple year period where it's not going up at all and we're correcting and retracing major fib nodes from swing lows down to like the bottom of the global financial crisis to the all-time highs okay so you see what i'm saying man Dude, I'm like not gonna be able to catch up on chat. Like I'm screwed, dude. Yeah, good game, good, man. Dude, I ain't gonna turn these off for a second. Look good, man. Okay, that's that's better, dude. You have off today, Julia. Hours have changed again. Now you work Mondays. But you're off on Tuesdays. As long as you don't like lose days off, I think that is pretty important, Julia. Okay. And if you do lose days off, then we're gonna all fly down to Australia and take back Julia's time. Brian Adams, huh? Brian, copyright? Yeah, dude, for sure. All right, William, man, your wingman. Are we gonna drive into North Dakota? Dude? and uh, experience the coldest weather known to the north or the northern hemisphere in the states anyway robin that come uh supercharged hmm polar vortex is taking out the market d-rex that's it dude we found another reason why bitcoin's selling off it's the polar vortex chat i can't believe it so i guess we'll just play it man press gonna dip there you go. I'm sorry. Y'all wish y'all were 29. Y'all wish y'all were 39 again. Well, hey, I'm trying to help. I'm doing all I literally can to try to make you feel that way. It's probably not that good because I can't play copyrighted 80s music. Not really because of the record labels that would take the stream down real, real quick, man. I don't know if I'd be talking any different. Would I talk different from the 80s than I would right now? I don't know. Whew. Should I just do like a uh, IRL stream, y'all? Is that what we need here or something? Because uh, we're waiting. We're waiting for Bitcoin to make moves uh, to the upside now. We've hit our entry. Oh my God. It's so crazy. I just need to see what it looks like with the VHS on a big screen, right? Psh, psh. Hey, what's going in, man? What's going on, everybody? All you, uh, you creamers and dreamers out there. <laughs> Whatever 80s people say. I don't even know how they talk, man. All right. So. <sighs> Getting shot with, uh, bullish engulfing, bullish hammers. Okay. Just so you can get a greater experience of what it feels like to really be in the 80s. The VHS is here, man. Oh, man. Dang it, dude. Is that a joint? 420 for the Bitcoin, 3420. Cheers, mate. I like the sound of my voice. Maybe I should talk sexy more. Talk sexy to me and smoke weed every day. 
Uh, Schmidt, Schmidt's brothers, dude, thank y'all so much for the 420 as that a joint contribution. You could have just, so like, unfortunately this is a different overlay, so it does have Elon Musk, but uh, on the other one. See, I haven't uh, made changes to this overlay. It's weird, dude. You set up a, another overlay, and then you have to constantly update it with the other overlay overriding it over and over and over. It's really annoying, and it's a lot of upkeep because I'm constantly changing things on my overlay, like, almost daily, right? So, thanks, dude, for the 420. The Elon Musk wardrobe malfunction 420. Okay, thanks, dude. I didn't expect to be on IRL stream for very long. Not long enough to get a, a tip or whatever. But thank y'all, seriously. Kangs. Tease, man. What's up, Alex, dude? Do I think the Chinese New Year will make Bitcoin fall, any, all, fall even more? Uh, again, over and over and over again. Uh, I, I don't know, sir. Okay, I don't, I don't know. Julie's uh, literally uh, antagonizing the situation for people that are experiencing minus 75 degrees Fahrenheit by saying it's hot down there. Thanks a lot, Julia. So insensitive. Oh my god, I'm offended. Smitty. What's up, dude? Smitty, man. This is radical. Thanks, dude. Uh, There's a whole bunch of, uh, you know. You're a what? Two what's Jeff? Uh, you're a Ute, Jeff, man. That's what it is. Two Utes. Yeah, Sean, that's like literally how I learned about all this stuff was years ago in the stock market, not crypto. Okay. It's 90s week nightly here. Grunge plaid shirts. Ree! Probes don't trigger me. What is a yuppie? I'm sorry, I don't speak weird. I don't speak 80s. Yuppie. A yuppie, a young person with a well-paid job and fashionable lifestyle. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I should just wear I should just wear this with a jacket on, man. Okay. I could do it, man. I could do it. Probes is a yuppie man. <sighs> Can I play Vanilla Ice? Oh my god. Hey, uh, Lars, man, you want to chime in on what would happen if we played Vanilla Ice at all? They won't copyright that, will they? Ha <laughs> ha, Peter Piper, to be a right, man. Don't you debate me, man. Don't debate a debater, man. Okay. Man, that pig is real, yes. Oh my god, y'all. I, I guess people don't even care about the... Oh my god. The climate change, man. It's not even a joke. George Washington Jr. says Alaska, randomly. I don't understand, man. Um, you say Alaska, I say... Uh, Texas. How about that, man? Oh, did Jesus man says long and overdue blessing to... Dude, did Jesus mind? This is for you, dude, okay? Did Jesus mind? Welcome, man, welcome. What's up, Starseed JD? You love the glasses? So cool. Starseed, you're just checking. Dude, if you're here, man, at least. What's cool now, man? Okay. What's cool now, dude? I think there's a mode, a setting where if I move my head or there's vibration, it will trigger this one right here. Watch this. No. Yeah, it's like when anything, anytime this thing moves. I don't know if this is malfunction, cheap. I think this is for like if you're uh, skateboarding or doing extracurricular activity. Dude, think about it. All right, hear me out here. Think about if you're a man and you're doing something gross. <laughs> I feel so good! Oh, yeah. Anyway, whatever, dude. It's, uh, we're waiting on vol volatility. 
for Bitcoin, okay? So sue me. Don't sue me. Good luck suing me if you do, though. Okay. Uh, I don't think so, nine foot couch. I don't think so. I think the true state motto is roll tide, but uh, whatever, man. You would have been three in the 80s. Me too, Dominique, man. I was three years old. Well, I was almost three. No, I don't even know, man. I was born in late 87, so. 80s arcade games were still the best. They are and still the best. Yeah, probably so. Zozers, man. Better than Fortnite, maybe. I must be really tired with how much you get overlaid. <laughs> Yeah, because they're ripping them threads or something, man. I don't know, dude. Okay. What's up, Tree Stoner, man? Y'all, I know. Well, let's get out of here, okay? Let's go back to uh, the real world. Here's the real world. Okay, man. See, now if you tip 420, it will be a different variation and not Elon Musk, okay? How's the diving Bitcoin charts going, Antsy? Uh good man it's going going well just waiting on uh, uh time to go at this point okay since the as you can see the gartley is now filled its destiny of entry all right so about tara schmitz beast nice is tubular you tubular absolutely yeah but time uh, man i need to i want to rewatch that man Yuppie is in the 80s, Ms. Kentomo, is this true? <clears throat> Ms. Kentomo, you're not an 80s kid. Crypto Carter saw Kiss in 1979, man. I saw Detroit Rock City when I was really young, dude. And uh, I liked it a lot, man. Oh my god, man. Contacts are burning now. I don't know if it has anything to do with the glasses. Probably not. It's probably... I've uh, been meeting, like doing business crap all day, man. It's been very stressful. Oh, nice. Trevor something playing right now. Bars, I'd be falling on the concrete real fast. You jump in your car, slam on the gas. Something, something, Metallica song. Don't try to get me to quote your song so you can take my stream down, dude. That's uh, that's below the belt. Whoops. Oh yeah, oh yeah, man. Oh, dude. I don't know, man. We could look at the one. You want me to look at the one-minute Bitcoin chart right now? Would that uh, make people more excited? Okay. Sweet, whatever at this point. In late 1987, you danced on the nine-foot couch in your room at college. And you say, F yo, couch. Charlie Murphy. Here comes Lars, man. You have still words. Oh, okay, I get it. You were being cute, Miss Kento, man. Oh, my God. All right. Well, I don't know, man. I've been out live for like an hour and 15 minutes. Uh... whatever man I guess we'll just live another day okay we'll live to fight another day for big one alright 2 hours 39 minutes out on the 4 hour chart currently sitting at 34.15 and uh, I mean look man you want to be talking about a major low to a major low dude uh, you can see it here man that's it's pretty real alright so there's a little bullish divergence from a certain low to another low. So, all right, man, we're starting to see divergence, and we're at the 786 Fib node, and the Gartley pattern. Will we be kings? When so many people said, no, we will not be kings. We'll be zero, then kings. Why can't we be kings of our respective patterns? Just saying. Okay, y'all. All right. Thanks so much for the love support. I'll just uh, 
read them out. Uh, Schmitz Brothers uh, and Jeff. Schmitz Brothers and Jeff. Thank you all so much for the contributions. Uh, thanks so much for the one new sub. Maybe two new subs. And uh, we're just going to keep looking at these charts every day, all right? So I'll be back tomorrow. Until next time, respect the T.A. Nuggets.